Joining me today, all the way from Charlevoix, Michigan, we've got Jetty Ray in the house. Please put your hands together. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. So happy to be here. Opera House is a beautiful venue. Isn't it the best? It's so beautiful. It. Just look around you. I mean, look where we are today on this beautiful snowy day. I love it. Well, Je she came from Charlevoix today, but your career did not start there. Will you tell us a little bit about that, please? Sure. Um, I started singing and writing. Um, actually, it did kind of start in Charlevoix. I wasn't born in Charlevoix, but uh, that's where my family's from. My mother bought me my first guitar when I was 16, so kind of a late bloomer. And uh, always loved writing, though. That was my first passion. So I'm a real stickler for the words. Can't listen to music if I don't like the words. Um, anyways, I've been doing it for the last 10 years, writing, recording. I've traveled all over the world and sang all over the world. It's been awesome. I'm super blessed to do what I love to do. Yes, we are. That's awesome. Yeah, cool. Well, you have gone all over the world. What keeps you here in northern Michigan? Um, beauty, family, inspiration. Um, I don't know why I'm here in the winter time. I've been asking myself that for a long time now. I, I lived know. in Hawaii for a couple years. Aww. And, um, you know, after Christmas, I could do away with the snow. But um, this is where my family is. This, is. this feels home to me. It's just, we live in such a beautiful place. And um, I don't really want to be anywhere else, especially in the summer months. Yep, and your mother, you've got little Beck, so that's yep. priceless to yep. be able to have your family around. Definitely, it's a great place to raise kids, too. It is. Well, what is next for you? You've been doing this for 10 years. What are you working on now? Um, I'm actually working on kind of paying it forward a little, so I've had 10 years of experience and lots and lots of mistakes. Um, it's time for we me all. to yeah, it's time for me to share <laughs> some of my yeah, lots of mistakes. Time to share some of my knowledge that I've learned from being an independent artist. I'm not on a label, so um, Miriam probably knows it can be very difficult, kind of paving your own way in music. And um, I'm producing an artist named Andrea Rizzo, and uh, it's really exciting to be able to get in the studio with her and kind of just help her career kind of lift off. So that's what I've been working on. And lots of writing during the winter months when it's cold and depressing. It's <laughs> lots of inspiration all around, so. That's great. Well, thank you so much for being with us. She's gonna do her first song now. Do you wanna tell everyone a little bit about that? Definitely. So this first song is called Born to Rise. And um, I'll have a little bit more guitar in the monitor, please. This song I wrote, um, I guess, I write a lot of songs out of depression. And this was kind of just a reminder to myself um, what I see around me isn't always the real reality. Um, feeling like I was, I was born for more than what I'm kind of settling for. I was born tired and I'm worn through Been spread too thin and I, I don't want to choose to grieve life like a rope is slipping through my hands. All these violences and all, all these shifting sands bringing me. Doubt that you can fly. I will fly away into 
don't 